Mr. Speaker, I am proud to join my colleagues this month of May to observe Lupus Awareness Month. Cannon found out he had lupus when his kidneys failed while on vacation. It was really scary at the beginning, so I was like, just turn the cameras on and we'll just see where this takes us. He's a tireless advocate for the Lupus Foundation of America, realizing his influence can fuel awareness and, more importantly, a cure. Well, May is Lupus Awareness Month, and there are some special events planned this week in our area. This is Lupus Awareness Month, and today is World Lupus Day. We want everyone to wear purple. We just want to bring awareness by wearing the color and telling people why we're wearing the color. I also ask my colleagues to join me in helping to educate, navigate, and raise awareness for lupus during Lupus Awareness Month by wearing purple on May 16th. Put on Purple Day. We are both decked out in mauve purple. It those is colors. put on purple day, which is uh, hopefully to bring awareness to a lupus. Tonight, the Great Wheel turns purple in a celebration and support of Lupus Awareness Month. Today's Pop Day, that's put on purple for Lupus Awareness Day. You can see Terminal Tower lit up in purple lights. You may have noticed that we're all wearing purple today, mm -hmm. and it's in honor mm -hmm. of Lupus Awareness Month, and it's put on Purple Day, so we have done mm -hmm. that to sort of make awareness of, of lupus. Happening in West Hartford, more than a thousand people are expected to take part in the annual Walk to End Lupus. All right, walk to help others in need with the 13th annual Asheville Walk to End Lupus. Lupus Foundation of America needs your help to raise money and rally support for those suffering from lupus. Happening right now at this hour, May is Lupus Awareness Month, and many people still don't know much about the disease. We want people to know that this is such an important cause, and as you mentioned, it affects over 1.5 million Americans and over 30,000 people in the Houston area alone.